Hey, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today I'm going to show you how to make a lyric video using Premiere Pro subtitles. If you're trying to find out how to make a lyric video with Premiere Pro subtitles, you came to the right place. Welcome to Katia's Buzz. In this Premiere Pro tutorial, I'm going to show you how quickly and easily you can create a music video using subtitles in Premiere Pro in 2020 in order to layer your lyrics with the voiceover. Follow me on this computer. I'm going to show you how quickly it can be done. So we are on Premiere Pro. And this is the project I've been asked to work on. So I already brought in the layer of the song itself, the audio layer. And I also brought in as the visual, the cover of the CD. Uh, the song is called No Hopes, No Fear by Lama Kesi. Really wonderful friend of mine. She's a Tibetan Buddhist nun and Lama. And uh, she's a wonderful person. And uh, she came up with this song, 2020. Uh, it's a very interesting lyrics and she asked me to put together this video uh, to show the lyrics that go with the song. Uh, the lyrics are very important. I already have the lyrics of that song available here. I'm going to make sure I layer them and match them to the lyrics of that video. So the first thing you do is you go to File, New, Captions. And you have a variety of options. You need to pick Open Captions. And you choose here the video settings you want the captions on, as well as the drop frame. And you press OK. It creates a file in your projects. You just drag that into your video. And that's going to be your captions. So I'm going to make it the length of the song. And I'm going to open the captions. You have to get close enough to the timeline in order for captions to open. So this will be my first words. Now the song begins here. The song start right about here. You don't have You don't have to face your fear. So this will be the first subtitle. You don't have to face your So I just pick it up here in the Word document and drag it here in the caption. Then I'm adding another one. Where is emotion? Anyway. Where is emotion anyway? That is going to be my next subtitle. And I'm going to add another one. In your head or in your heart. And you can pretty much figure out the rest. I'm going to go down the song. You can grab the caption and bring it anywhere you want on the timeline if you wanted to move it in a different location. You. 
So I'm not going to go down the line and do the whole song because I've already uh, produced this video. But now you get an idea of how quickly you go down the lyrics of the song and you layer them. That's the first thing you do and you just don't care about anything else at this point. Once you're done and you have all your songs laid out, once you're ready, you pick all the layers by choosing the little square here, the visual, and pressing shift so you have all of the captions captured. Or at the end of the song, you'll have many. You just go from the top, you go to the last one, and it picks all of them automatically. This way, when you make any changes, they are all changed simultaneously. You can change the line spacing, you can change the edge, you can change the size, you can change the location on your screen, or you can do it manually by clicking on the video and moving it. You can change the location by changing the X and Y, or just going back to the first location. So we're going to start by changing it to impact, let's say, and then changing the size. All right, so the font currently is white, but you can make it any color you want. So let's say we want it yellow. That's how you do that. I'm going to bring it back to white. If you want the background color to disappear, you have to click on the background and currently it's at 100%. If I make it 0%, you'll see that it's no longer there. If I move it, you see that it's not appearing anymore. It might be easier to see from here. So you pick it here and then you choose, let's say we're putting it back at 100%. Then you pick the color, and if you want it to be red, I'm only choosing those colors so that they're obvious. Apparently, it's not necessarily attractive, so I'm only showing you how to get it done. So we're going to bring it back to black. I'm also going to pick an easier font to read and make sure I have all of them picked together. Now, if I were to just make one change here and not the others, that would only change this particular caption subtitle. So let's say, for example, I want this one to be red. Will, be, will not be red. So depending what you want to do, you do them all or you do them separately. So of course if I change the color of the subtitles now it's going to remove this. I'm going to put it back on black. Now if you want to do um, an edge on your fonts you just go here and you change the color of your edge. I'm going to make it yellow so it's really obvious. You see there's a little edge around and Maybe you see it better that way. Here. If you want to change the text color, you click on this and you can change the text color. And that's pretty much how you put together subtitles for a lyrics video. So I'm going to make it a little bit more subtle. I'm going to do white font. I'm going to remove this so I can just put it at 0% and it's going to remove it. And I'm also going to turn off the background. I'm going to make sure we see the whole screen, bring it back down and if you want to add a shadow to this video, 
I'm going to bring something else here so that it's more obvious. So now if I want to put a shadow on this, I come to Effects, Shadow, and I'm going to drop shadow on the caption. And you see that the shadow has appeared. And it has done it on all of them. Now the next thing I did, I looked at all the visuals I was going to layer with the lyrics and with the song itself. You'll see that I also layered the visuals with it. And the captions are here. And at the end you just tweak to make sure it fits exactly the location of the lyrics of the song. I added a couple of details here because if you hear in the background of the song, uh, there is another voice. So I used an animation. And so I hope you will be comfortable placing your own captions in the next video you put together. Say hi to Boots, my video editor. Now that uh, you finished the video tutorial, let me know if you liked it. Uh, please make sure you spend an extra second to go down there, press like, subscribe to my channel and press the little bell if you want to get more so that you know before anyone else when I put another video together. Hey Boots! Hey my baby. I also hope you will take a moment to check out uh, the song from Lama Casey and let me know how you feel about it. It's actually very interesting if you listen to the lyrics you will see that Buddhism is really interconnected with the lyrics that she has chosen and it really made me think a lot, um, particularly if you're doing meditation or anything like that, you'll see that this song has some interesting aspects to it. So make sure you take a second, go check out that song, listen to the lyrics, watch the lyrics in the caption that I took the time to put together, and let me know what you think of this video. I also would be very honored to get uh, information from you guys and to see your project. So, Take a little time uh, down uh, in the comments below to show me the projects you have used captions on and I'll be honored and happy to go check it out and let you know what I think of your project. It's always a pleasure having you on my channel. I'm hoping that I'm helping everyone with their projects. Uh, that's really the whole purpose of putting these videos together is to find a way to share the things that I've learned and that I'm learning day by day and making them available to you and making them as easy as possible. So if you have any comments, any suggestions, please, I'm really looking forward to hearing from you. It's been a pleasure. Once again, enjoy. Have a wonderful day. the video tutorials please make sure you subscribe to this channel and press like I hope you'll come again I will put more videos out there for you to be able to film better edit better do some graphic design all for the purpose of putting your YouTube channel in the best possible light